Okay, so this is a quick messy video to show you how to connect your old cinema Apple display to the new um, 16 inch MacBook Pro. So you need an adapter as you need for all of the things that you had before that need to be plugged into a laptop because now you only have these two ports, these ridiculous USB-C ports nobody has adapters for or hadn't, didn't have any, so now you had to get some. One option is these little things. They're, um, they're little USB connectors, see, tiny little things. And then you can plug a USB into it, a USB cable. The other thing is you can use is like a hub. This one has a SD card in it. Um, Lention makes those. Anyway, so the other thing you need is, I don't know what this is called, VGA? DVI-D link, I'm not quite sure, but this is what you needed before to plug the cinema display into your laptop. Now what you need is one of these things, and I actually have a link open, wait, see this thing, Club D3, blah, 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 and um, it has this, as you can see, the same port in the front that is going into this cable from the DVI. Uh, from the cinema display and then the other thing you need to plug in obviously is a keyboard which i have oh my god it's dirty anyway um you plug that into that little adapter works with this probably works with this too but um this is more convenient and um the other thing you need to do like with the previous connection is you need to plug it into power because if you don't it will not come up and then the last thing here is when you when it connects, it may take a few seconds to connect. Supposedly you can press the option button, but when you press the option button, I can't do this while I'm holding the camera. So let me see if I can do it <laughs> while holding the camera. Wait, wait, I, I can do it, I can do it. Okay, see, if I press option, you see that in the corner it says detect displays. When you click that button, you can click it and then the black the screen goes black and then it comes back but i'm not quite sure if it is in a higher resolution as they say here see um you can hold on the option key while changing resolution to this but i don't think that's what it ends up as i mean i guess it could go back and forth you can try this yourself uh, i'm fine with what i have so it says 1680 to 1050 i'm not sure what this looks good to me anyway that's it.